Hello and welcome. My name's Colm Kinsella. I'm a senior sales specialist with Olympus in Perth, Australia. In this video, we're going to step through how to access the conventional UT on the OmniScan X3. To do that, I'm just going to use a zero degree contact probe. This one is the CN4R-10. And I have it connected to the conventional UT channel on the OmniScan X3 using the LIMO connector. Uh, I'm also using a steel step wedge. So to get started, we're just going to access the burger menu up the top left corner of the screen, plan and calibrate, and then scan plan. The first setting is the same as if you were doing a phase dray setup. I'm just going to choose the thickness and set it to 12.5, as that is the max thickness of my step wedge. And then go into probes and wedges. From here, the default setting is to use a phase dray group. And so I need to remove that by pressing the X and delete. Once I've done that, I can add a new group, and then I get the four options of adding a phase dray group, a UT on phase dray, UT on P1, or UT on P2. I'm plugged into the P1, so that's the one I'm going to select. And now I can choose my type of probe. In this case, I have a pulse echo probe, but if I wanted to choose a dual or a toft, this is where I could choose the setting. So now I can choose my probe from the drop down. I have a contact probe and it's a CN4R-10, so I'm just going to scroll through until I find it. And then I can go into groups. Within groups, I just need to change it to longitudinal wave so it sets the suitable velocity, and then done. So now we have a, a basic UT set. To make changes, as you would in a UT set, I press the UT settings within the burger menu. Press general first. From here, I like to pin it um, so it feels a bit more familiar as a UT set. I can change my range. I'm going to set it to 30, so it's within range of my 12 and a half mil step block. Uh, also in this first page is where we can actually do a manual calibration using the velocity and the wedge delay or the zero. Uh, I'm actually just going to use the software to do the calibration. So next step, pulsar. I don't need to change any voltage. And then we have our receivers or our filters. I'm going to turn the video filter off. It's generally only used for phased array scanning, so not for conventional and then choose a suitable filter for my 4 meg probe. Okay, so now I have a UT set that hasn't been calibrated, but I can move my gates, I can change my gain, and I have my measurements on the right side. If I wanted to auto 80 my gain, I just do it here. Okay, so the next step is to do the calibration using the software. So back into the burger menu and plan and calibrate, and this time I select calibration tools. Uh, within this page, I can access the TCG, uh, but I'm just going to do the velocity and wedge delay. Okay, so now this page is just asking for a two-point calibration. On my step wedge, I'm going to actually do a 5 mil for depth 1. And depth 2 to 12.5. Next page. Now it wants me to set the gate for depth one, so depth one being the five mil. So I'm going to start the gate and raise it up so that I'm not hitting my initial pulse. Okay, I'm happy with that. I can get that position. Move my probe onto the 12.5. Then make sure my gate again is not hitting the initial pulse. I'll get that position. So now I can just validate my calibration is correct. So you can see within the screen here, um, I'm on the 12.5 step and we're reading 12.5. If I go to the 7.5, we now need to look at, sorry, this is the 10 mil. See that's reading 10. 7.5 on gate A is reading 7.5. And this is the 5 mil. So on gate A, we're reading at 5 mil. So I'm going to accept that and press done. So now we have our UT set where we can make changes and run conventionally. So that concludes our video. Thank you for your time. Uh, if you need any help or support, feel free to get in touch. No matter where you are in the world, we're generally not too far away. So thank you. Bye.